review chops here. Ah, thank you. Did I just see? Oh my god! Whoa! Oh my! That was something. Good day everyone and welcome to the MGN channel. I'm your host Cornish and today we're going to be talking about another horror game that has just been released. Now I love classic Resident Evil, I also love Silent Hill. This game has brought back the old school ca fixed camera angles tank control buttons and that game is Tormented Souls. Tormented Souls is a classic fixed camera angle survivor horror. Inspired by the original Resident Evil, Alone in the Dark, and Silent Hill series, with a massive building to explore and a lot of classic backtracking and some amazing puzzles, this really brought back my childhood. Your story begins as Caroline Walker getting a letter from John Doe, a photo of twins, and then you set off to investigate the disappearance of twin girls at the Winter Lake. But as always, these games sometimes goes from bad to worse and foreshadows trauma events. But the question is, does this game live to its expectations? Hmm, well, sort of, really. So let's start off with the storytelling. Not that great, and it's not bad. At the start, there is a lot of foreshadowing. That's, that's my complaint with this game. Uh, with games like Silent Hill, when you go through the story, you sometimes think, is it all in your head with this character? And what happened to the person who he's finding? Like the Maria case from Silent Hill 2, or the Silent Hill homecoming case with Alex and his brother. What happened? With those games, the foreshadowing was very minimum. Until you start playing it again, that's when you realize stuff's going on, but you don't notice it. Especially with Silent Hill 2. For me, yeah. <laughs> But the thing is, with the first Star of the Tormented Souls, it was easy to point out the foreshadowing bits. However, the story is pretty interesting and a bit corny at times to time. But hey, better story than the last few games I've played in the past with these horror games, like Cream of <laughs> Two. Now the combat, eh, yeah, it's pretty bland. Now the combat system, eh, yeah, it's pretty bland. As for a fan of an old school tank style, this was not really good when it came to the combat system. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm on caution already. With stuff like Silent Hill, when you start shooting, you can walk back. On this one, you can't walk back. You can only aim left or right. There's no up or down. It's just straight on. It's basic. Um, so once you get into aim mode, you can't move at all. However, the monsters itself, um, they don't get a pushback when you shoot them. In fact, um, I believe it's like over 10 bullets to kill a monster on that game. Um, I, I think I spent most of my time just shooting this corpse and uh, it, it really wasn't doing much. But then I looked at my ammo and I thought, oh, I'm a bit low. So I went for the crowbar. The crowbar took ages. Um, I can see the crowbar be used for things that don't move and with monsters that move and there is literally a 60% chance it will hit you. Um, so goes the health system on the combat system. The health system for you I think it's like five hits and that's it. Um, with the monsters, it's about 15 hits. So I, I didn't like that. I did notice uh, you can have a step back fit, but they didn't show me in the controls. I went to check my map in and yeah, uh, they really want you to use controller. I can promise you that. But you know, if you've got a controller, I'd use it. On to the next bit, the puzzles. I gotta say the puzzles are amazing. Well, the classic Resident Evil style, when you actually examine an item and you have to like mess around with it in 3D to just open it up or figure something out, it's amazing. And the com uh, combined system, like the old Resident Evil style, mwah, really good for this game. And it also has that Silent Hill puzzle system, like a doll on the bed um, and, uh, and other cool things. I, I like that, and I'm glad they 
this game put that kind of um, thematics in because it's, it's 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 good because with games where you backtrack with this one when you backtrack to a location to do a puzzle which was there ages ago and now you've got the items to puzzle it you're going to new areas in, in the mansion so that's pretty cool and what what can i say about the graphics you know what there's no lag it's pretty blended well it's polished it looks pretty um looks amazing the monsters look amazing the characters look amazing and the entire mansion just looks wonderful in overall the game itself ain't half bad there is a lot of update tweaks that needs to happen in that game uh like for instance you son of a gun um when you decide to not kill the monsters and you run to the safe room and as soon as you open the door they're right in front of you the black screen disappears and it whilst that's happening you're still getting whacked and You, right. At least, like, if you're going to go classic horror and you say it's like Resident Evil between Sign Hill, you're going to have to have an aim and walk back function. <laughs> game's dumb <laughs> it really is like if you get if you're gonna put a monster outside at least make the damage a little bit better with the with the crowbar um don't know why you're using an l gun though there could have been other weapons like a shotgun <laughs> Let's see for yourself it's not even the classic combat system. It's Tusty! Alex combat system. The storytelling's pretty weak, but it's not bad. As I said, it's a good thing and it's not a bad thing. But if you're a classic survival horror, you know what? You need to try this game out, honestly. Um, the price is even reasonable as well, so that's a bonus. And that is my review for Tormented Souls. Guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we'll be making more soon. I'm not available for Friday and Saturday because I'll be away. If you want to see me play these types of games, I do have a Twitch channel, so feel free to drop by and say hi. And that is it. You guys take care. Corner shining out.